welcome back to CAD CAM tutorial today we are going to make a simple example in Autodesk Inventor for beginners I hope you like it so let's start to create this simple basic model in Autodesk Inventor 2017 now let me choose here new go to isometric standard part in millimeter create now this is the Autodesk Inventor interface so let's start to create our main geometry now you will see this is the our main geometry first we will create this circle 60 and 40 outer diameter in outer inner diameter and uh, we will extrude up to 60 millimeter later we will make this body and this body center distance 75 millimeter 23 outer radius inner diameter 20 and extrusion 15 millimeter so let's make these two things now you can click 2d sketch and uh, what things we are going to use so we will use x z plane circle let's draw two circle select 60 millimeter enter again and this one 40 millimeter enter okay this is fully constrained exit and choose extrude select profile this inside and uh, here 60 millimeter extrusion okay that's fine now let's define some by default material sky blue medium oh that seems better now rotate and i'll choose this bottom face sketch let me draw here in this line draw a circle that is 40 23 into 2 46 millimeter and here one more circle that is 20 millimeter enter choose the line up to here draw one more line choose this point uh, sorry better to choose this coincident relation this circle and this point the same here this point and this circle the last thing what we need to decide the center distance 75 millimeter see that seems better option or even you can define or delete this distance actually this is not 75 actually 75 from this center point okay both horizontal now finish sketch and let me choose extrusion now here you can choose this is face and this one now just rotate it and 15 millimeter but this is going re reverse direction so just simply direction 2 that's it okay now here we will extrude this one this is also 75 60 plus 50, 75 millimeter from center point and then 45 millimeter in upward direction and this thickness 60 millimeter okay so for this we will choose this plane because this is 15 millimeter from uh, above from the bottom face A sketch now let me choose a line 
so i'll start with this point and connect with this point it's time to define 75 mm 60 mm and this is fully constrained finish this sketch this yellow line you, you can see this is projected line and it is took the shape when we applied on face extrude i'll ch you have to choose the profile so i'll choose this profile 15 mm in upward direction this is what we want accord according to our drawing i'll choose this upper face sketch and here i'll select two point rectangle first point second point A smart dimension Fifteen millimeter, and this is fully constrained. Finish this sketch, extrude, and see it's going in upward direction, and that is thirty millimeter because forty-five from bottom line. So this thickness fifteen and plus thirty forty-five. Sir, so here we selected joint. Okay, that's it. Now it's time to create tapered face. see this taper 25 mm from here and 10 mm thick let me see the plane which is suitable plane x y plane a sketch let me choose here line this point to this line okay dimension this point to just simply delete this one again apply Twenty five millimeter. Okay. Finish a sketch and uh, let me choose rib and here choose this bottom. parallel to sketch plane thickness 10 mm you will see here thickness see it's going to this yellow line it is automatically projected once you choose any point here see it's going up to the end we because we want to make it here also and keep the end one end condition in both side or mid now look see the last thing we need to make a hole so let me choose this face sketch and here let's draw two circles okay equal select both the circles equal this point and this point parallel in one line dimension center distance 35 mm and distance from upper edge 15 mm diameter 16 mm and what else balance it's 60 minus okay so 25 12.5 mm Okay now it is fully constrained finish sketch extrude and click here cut select profile 
2 this 2 hole we need to select and here we will choose only up to next uh, no not next up to 2 and just rotate it and select backside wall see it's going to cut only up to this wall see this is how we finished our simple model in Autodesk Inventor. I hope you like it. Don't forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in SolidWorks. SolidWorks and Inventor. Thanks for watching.